Hi everyone, Phil Susan here again for another bass tip and trick. And today I want to talk a little bit or start the dialogue about right-handed techniques. We have to start somewhere. The right-handed or left-handed techniques, if you are a left-handed person, are about as numerous as they get. You can make all kinds of sounds and you can use different techniques, whether it's plucking or whether it's double stopping or whether it's uh, slap or whether you're using a pick or um, any other technique such as uh, using uh, all of your hands, including your thumb. Um, we're going to keep the pick techniques to something separate because that is a world unto itself. So I want to talk a little bit about just basic finger plucking technique. The first thing that I want to uh, touch upon is that there are two ways, two approaches that I have. One is the kind of groove, very controlled, very feel, very sound orientated um, method of playing where you're playing, um, um, you're looking for stuff which really is has a, a degree of finesse about it. Maybe when you're in the studio and you're working under those conditions or you're playing something which is kind of gentle. So, you know, your tonal variations will go between playing at the, uh, at the bridge or right by the neck. And playing by the neck, you get a very warm, very rich, mellow sound like... beautiful and rich and warm and fantastic and something a little bit more uh, percussive and funky maybe would be down by the bridge so it you can see you can hear that sound coming through now what I want to talk about today is more about rock bass playing so when you play in a rock band the finesse really takes a little bit of a backseat um, and is not quite as as important or, 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 or not quite as stressed as your notes being able to cut through. You're playing with a rock band. You've got a loud drummer. You've got a couple of loud guitar players. You may have a keyboard player. And what's really important is to get your notes to come through. So obviously the bass guitar is supposed to provide some bass, some low end, and uh, that's what we do. Um, we want to make sure that we have the low end element, which is important, but not excessive. Um, actually, for a bass player, low end can work against you. So you don't want to have tons and tons of sub low, because while it will fill out the, the overall sound, you won't really hear any of the notes that you're playing, and it will use up a lot of the energy, a lot of the, the sound spectrum, so to speak. So, you know, the first part of that is that you want to have that low end. The second part, you need to have some kind of percussion, some kind of um, um, attack to your notes. You know, we're not, like I said, we're not talking about pick playing today, so we have to have some other way of doing this. And the way to do it, the way I, like, I do it personally, is I use a sort of snapping technique. I want the strings to snap on this fingerboard, and the way that I do it is by basically, I, I use my fingers, it, it's quite aggressive, I use it to, to, to pluck that string, it goes right through the string, and it comes to rest on the string uh, above it. So, for example, if I'm playing on the D string, right, I will snap like this, and my finger will come to rest on the A string. If I'm playing on the A string, it'll come to rest on the G string, on the E string, and if I'm playing on the G string, it'll come to rest on the D string, like that. And playing with that technique, you can hear you get a very percussive sound. It does require a lot of strength, it does require a lot of training, and it's going to hurt like hell for a while until you get your calluses built up. But once you do, it starts to come in really useful. So that's pretty cool. Now I've got an element to the top of my note that cuts through, and it's going to cut through the band so people can hear what I'm playing. It's not just... It's... Very cool. Now, uh, another thing I want to talk about really quickly is fingers, bangers. So there was a, uh, a, a party trick, I think, and as I recall, it was a book, and you put your hand like this on the book, 
and then you have to raise your thumb and you have to raise your little finger and you have to raise your first finger and it comes to raising your ring finger and it doesn't want to move and the reason it doesn't is because these two fingers are somewhat connected down here they they tend to work in tandem and so I found and also because they're actually about the same length from the hand that they have a very similar sound a very similar timbre so I found myself starting to use my sometimes my first and third finger as well and I found great advantages to it for example when you're skipping strings so if you're playing a line uh, it's really an advantage to have that third finger already to, 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 pick the, to pick that note and I mean if you play you know if you want to play disco lines, which I'm sure you'll like to do in the privacy of your own home, then it comes in useful for that too. And also, it gives you the, the ring, the, 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 the middle finger availability to do something on the fly. So once you get a little bit more proficient with it, you find yourself using a combination of all three. Um, but a classic example might be if you want to, if that disco wasn't enough for you and you wanted like disco on steroids, you could probably go. So you can use just slow down there for you a little bit, and you're using your ring and middle middle finger as well. And then when you get into the combination of everything, Fantastic. Anyway, so that's really my introduction to right hand technique. We'll come back with some more stuff in the future. As always, please like the video and leave me some comments or um, requests on what you'd like to hear come up. I will keep trying to put these up and we'll move on with some other right hand techniques later on. In the meantime, enjoy playing bass and have a great time and see you soon. Take care. Over and out.